Hello everyone, welcome to the stream. Thank you, Freddy LeChance, for the follow. Very much appreciated. Um, please feel free to say hello in chat. It'd be lovely to hear from you. Um, and yeah, welcome everyone. How are you all doing? We're going to be having a look at Dune 2 today. Let me see if I can get that one to get the right window up. I think it's this one. So, here we are. Yeah. So, I had been thinking more about June. Uh, I, um, the book, I read the books as a teen, and um, they made quite a big impression on me. They were quite uh, different to anything else I'd been reading at that up to that point. Um, and they, um, although I'm a bit fuzzy on some of the details, they did uh, give quite an impression on me um, into adulthood. Uh, and I was vaguely aware that um, there were video games of Dune. Um, wasn't quite sure what they were. I think I had some notion they were they were strategy games, um, which uh, for the most part they are. Um, and that's due to uh, this game, essentially this game and its its um, uh, legacy, um, because this is uh, well one of two Dune adaptations um, published by Virgin uh, in 1992 originally. What we're looking at here is the Amiga version of Dune 2 um, that was published in 1993. I'll um. There you go. Let's enjoy that voice clip. Um, so we're going to get a bit of an intro here, I think, um, which I will be very happy to uh, read out any text of for us, and then I'll, I'll go into a bit more of my spiel and we can get playing. The planet Arrakis, known as Dune. Land of Sand, home of the Spice Melange. The Spice controls the Empire. Whoever controls Dune controls the Spice. The emperor, emperor has proposed a challenge to each of the houses. The house that produces the most spice will control Dune. There are no set territories and no rules of engagement. Vast armies have arrived. Now three houses fight for control of Dune. The noble Atreides. How noble are they? They just shot at us. They've ruined my mono. The insidious Ordos. The evil Harkonnen. Not good. <laughs> Give us much leeway there, aren't they? Only one house will prevail. Your battle for Dune begins. 
now. Well, after you've swapped to disc one, okay. Uh, excuse me while I do a little bit of hot swapping here. Hot disc action. Okay, this should hopefully satisfy June two's urges for disc one. And I think we get to make some choices at this point. The um, there are um, some slower loading times as we get started before we um, get into the gameplay for this. Um, so it might be a good time to resume the chat. Um, yeah. So if anybody out there has any memories of June, oh God, certain save game disc. Excuse me, man. Uh, any memories of playing this game um, originally when it came out in the early 90s and and it's a, the effect it had um, because I imagine it's probably one of those things where a um, a piece of work comes along and codifies a lot about a particular genre um, which then goes on to be kind of uh, ubiquitous with that genre in in any anywhere it appears, um, but then for someone coming to it later on, such as I am, so I've, I've never played this game before, um, it will all seem uh, I guess a little underwhelming possibly, um, because yeah, the all the conventions are familiar from from many other games, and it doesn't seem as original as it would have done in 1992 or 93 if you were. Playing this on Amiga. So we've got, um, yeah, let's just go straight in and play a game. That's one of our options. Uh, it feels like there should be some sound for this part, but I think there there isn't. We'll get a little bit of audio back when we actually start playing the game. So you will see here that we um, can play as uh, one of the, uh, the noble houses that were introduced to in the um, the cutscene at the beginning. We can be Atreides, Ordos, and Harkonnen. Now I'm familiar with Atreides and Harkonnen from uh, the Dune books, uh, from the 1984 Dune film. I'm not familiar with the Ordos, so I'm tempted to give them a try. I'll click on them. I think that's worked. There we go. House Ordos, or Ordos, I don't know. The home planet of the Ordos is a frigid and ice-covered world. I'm not sure who, who this person is who's speaking to us, but I love their hair. We presume the Ordos import their agricultural and technological goods from nearby star systems. Interesting. So they've gone for a, uh, like a single ecology planet, like Dune. Acting as traders and brokers, the Ordos produce no physical products of their own and rely upon their merchandising skills to survive. That um interesting. Yeah, so so far this game seems to be uh rather pointedly capitalist, um, in some kind of cutthroat free market for for spice. Um I do wish to join house orders. Thanks. Nice. There's a nice serpent on their crest. Not quite sure what it's coiled around. So yeah. So I th I think our choice has been registered, um, but we won't won't see the effect of that for a minute or two. I don't think. While while the game's um, loading up. Ah, here we go. Welcome. I am your Mentat, and you may call me Amon. Hi, Amon. To be of any value to the cartel, you must provide us with credits. Well, have I got to pay to get the job? As a test, we will assign you to a region and ask that you meet a production quota of 1,000 credits. Oh, that's, that's what you mean. Well, that sounds, yeah, that sounds entirely uh, familiar to me. There are quotas to be met. Um... Uh, I take it you mean spice? I'm not, not, not making toilet rolls or anything. 
Build a refinery and harvest the spice in the area. Okay, got it. Sounds easy. I am. I like the uh, the shifting expression on Amon's face. I am very busy, and you may call upon me if you have further questions. Oh, but you may call upon me. That makes sense. It doesn't look as if you entirely trust me there, Amon. Uh, so I can get you to repeat your um, instructions, but let's proceed. I think I understood them. Okay, while well, this is loading, I'm just going to check on the stream quality. How are we doing? Uh, reasonable, I think. Yeah. Okay, so something should be appearing soon. Here we are. Okay, so yeah, so I, I've only just had a little look at this just to, to make sure it was working, uh, line it all up nicely on screen for everybody and just try and get a feel for the general um, the general controls of it. Here we go. Yes, right. sir. So you'll hear the, the radio go when we um, give people instructions. Oh, uh, attack, attack, attack. Oh, it's okay, you can stop attacking now. No, you can stop attacking. The, I don't think they're in our... They're not in our construction facility, I don't think. Ah, oh, it got damaged. How rude. Yes, sir. Right. Uh, well, I'm, I'm doing things and, and not... To, oh, I get, confu I get confused about the movement in this. So I feel like you should be able to move. Um, uh, freely, without having to click on a move instruction first. So, yes, sir. Uh, I take it we're looking at a rocky outcrop on Arrakis Dune, and we've got control of these um, units. So we've got yes, sir. individual soldiers, and we've got um, transports, and we've got a uh, construction yard. Um, by the looks of things. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Um, yeah, and I think the uh, typical sandy colour area is, is just that, and the orangey red area is spice, um, and we kind of need to be protecting what we've got from the other houses' units, yes, sir. and um, starting to mine and refine that spice. That's That's my impression. Um, so when I tried this before, there were some there's some sneaky red soldiers in this kind of area. Oh yeah, good work. Enemy unit destroyed. Yeah, you did that yes, without uh, doing it. So there must be a bit of AI in there uh, working on my behalf as well, which is nice. The uh, remains of that soldier disappear quite quickly. There was another soldier over here who was a little troublesome as well. Yeah, there we go. Yeah, there we go. They probably don't stand up very well to like an armoured transport. Um, so if all the units I've got here are guarding, let's have a look at the construction yard. So I think I need to get uh, Concrete down before I can build anything else. Oh, I've, I've okay. I've, I was looking for I was looking for more information, but I appear to have just. Uh... Yes, thank you, thank you, handy tip. So yeah, so in looking at complete. in looking at this game uh, before playing it today, um, I wasn't really sure that I played much in the way of real-time strategy before um, but I think given, given how familiar all this seems I think I must have done can I help oh, place it I do have to click more times than I think I do which is interesting so if I go to the construction yard well I can change to the other things I am to build um, so a wind trap power center, I think, is what will unlock other options to build mining and um, 
what method you're refining. Construction complete. Okay. Yeah. So let's let's pop a wind trap in there. The wind trap supplies power to your base. Without power, your structure structures will decay. Well, that's that's good. I don't want them to decay. So I think if I hadn't built a um, secure footing for it, it yes. would have um, a deteriorated over time, which makes sense. Let's explore a little bit of this area. Um, so I know it's there for building purposes. Actually, Acknowledge. can Acknowledge. build quite a way over here. Um, I do like the uh, the very laid back ambience of this. It's quite easy just to click away, get a nice little repeated acknowledgements from the soldier under my instruction. Um, enjoy the chill soundtrack. You know, just. I don't know if waves of waves of soldiers are going to start attacking. I don't know how I'd make get more armed units if I needed them. Acknowledge. There you go. It's all fine. So let's go back to the construction yard. Let's build more concrete. Build this. Construction complete. So I think I need six to do the um, the next useful thing. I'm just happy clicking away on this, to be honest. I don't know if I can get any extra money from selling surplus power to the national grid or anything. Probably not. In all fairness. Place it. Yeah, this is this is good. This is a chill a chill time. So I think um, before we start playing, I was talking a bit about this being one of two Dune adaptations. Uh, originally. Uh, published in uh, 1992, um, both published by Virgin Games, uh, because um, president of um, the USA branch of Virgin Games, Martin Alba, had acquired the um, the rights to an interactive adaptation of Dune, um, and ended up having to get them from the, I believe, collapsed production company that had produced. Uh, the 1984 film adaptation of Dune, directed by David Lynch, um, which is uh, not broadly speaking a financial success, and I guess critically it's more of a, a, a cult thing than a than a widely lauded masterpiece. It's certainly a very interesting film. Um, I think it's a good film, um, and yeah, so both. What, what ended up happening was that um, Virgin Games uh, yeah, did some interesting things and set two teams off on their own interpretations of what a Dune game could be. Uh, one of them was released as just as Dune um, and it was developed by Cryo Interactive and the other was this by Westwood Studios um, who took um, the initiative of uh, just making it purely as a strategy game, so just um, focusing on the kind of economic um, rivalry. So it's a, a struggle for dominance, really, over resources. And uh, spice for fine. Let's build that. Thanks. Um, yeah, taking that as their basis and working out what they wanted to do with um, with that genre. And they looked at um, lots of games that had come before. I think a big influence was um, Herzog Zwei, which um, I'm not particularly familiar with, um, but has a great name, so I'm, I'm all for that. Let's place this here. The refinery converts spice into credits. I mean, that's a, that's a really... <laughs> it's a very bald way of looking at it, isn't it? Oh, okay. Okay, so I'm ultimately going to get like search the spice fields to harvest. Ah, does that? Yes, sir. I can control that. Ah, okay. 
harvest so it's harvesting at the moment well that's okay what's down here I think that green fly was mine wasn't it well this harvest is 9% full of harvesting oh that's going to take a while okay so I guess yes, we want some of our um, yeah I think I probably want some of these things to move out and explore further for Ooh, that looks like a really dense pocket of spice. There's loads of spice up here. Acknowledged. Acknowledged. Yeah. Uh, so, I mean, uh, I guess a little point of interest is that the um, the internal conflicts in this Dune game and and also in the other Dune game by Cryo um, are kind of reflected in the circumstances of both games creations in that there were kind of two teams not directly pitted against each other but both uh, vying to be the finished product um, that Virgin would publish uh, based on Dune um, and actually both ending up uh, being published um, the Cryo one came out um, earlier in 1992, and I think in terms of legacy, it definitely is overshadowed by uh, yes, sir. by this game, as this had a, a big influence and uh, multiple sequels, um, and a, a big yeah a big influence upon the whole uh, genre of real time strategy. Yes, sir. So I um, yeah, in terms of how this game reflects what Dune the the novel is about, it takes one aspect. It takes kind of the um, economic political situation in the where's my house? Oh, there it is. Nice. Can I can I get it to do stuff or is it? Yeah, so don't don't be expecting too many um, spice-based hallucinations. I don't think in this game. I don't think that's what we're in for. Um, okay, I'll just keep doing its thing. That's fine. So what else can we construct? Oh, just more refineries, more power stations. Okay, and that's kind of it for now. Okay, that's good to know. So we're kind of back up to the um, the level of funds that we had before. I guess I could um, yes, sir. move this person out so they're not Acknowledged. directly in the way of um, me building here. And I could get to building more concrete footings for things. That would be that would be all right, wouldn't it? I think. Construction. Thanks. Um, this is incredibly chill. I was expecting a, a more fraught time than this. I like it. It's um it's certainly suiting me today for my energy level and uh, my stream. I'm having a good time. Um, Construction complete. Yeah. So I don't think this game goes to any of the wild places that the Dune novel uh, does. Um, I don't think it's really interested in uh, religion. Um, it's interested in power, but um, through dominating a resource, economic dominance, um, imperialism, uh, which is 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 an uh, integral part of of what Dune is about. Um, so it's it's not it's not that it's unrepresentative. It's just that I think it takes a uh, a narrow look at it, um, and its real, um, real power and innovation is in how it treats its gameplay, which is absolutely fine because that's that's one of the things that games are there for. Enemy unit approaching. Oh, where's this? Over here. Okay, uh, you attack. Don't attack my harvester. Harvester, yes, get complete. out of the way! Acknowledge. Whoa, how come that... Yes, sir. Attack, attack, there you are. Okay. Yes, sir. 
Move. Acknowledged. Over here. Wow, the, I mean, these... Okay. <laughs> Those soldiers, yes, uh... Oh, the soldiers yes, have individual damage like markers. Can they be healed? I don't know, I don't know if they can. Interesting. I mean, people are a finite resource as well, that's... Yes, to be sir. well remarked upon. Harvest, friend, harvest. Um, what is that handy little bit of... Oh, it's right there, okay. Stop, harvest this good stuff, please. This is like the... The stuff. Yeah, I guess um, you may, if you haven't played this game before and haven't seen it before, you might be curious about how we control it. It's all been point and click so far, and hopefully you can see everything my cursor's been doing. Um, and as the map moves around, that's that's me just using the um, four of the keys on the number pad to move around. I think. You, well, I've successfully completed the mission. Oh, have I won the game? This is amazing. Oh, was this like the tutorial? Oh, that's sort of why it was a bit, uh, a bit simple. Great. So, yeah, okay. We show potential. If you continue to display good management skills, we may find a permanent position for you in our organization. I haven't even definitely got the job yet. Don't leave me hanging, I'm on. Come on, you know I'm you know I'm good. Proceed, I'd like to proceed, please. Score fifty six, I don't know if that's that's good. Uh, I think it's good. Um, so the time was 13 minutes. Oh, well, I guess I was being timed. I've attained the rank of Desert Mongoose, which is um, delightful. Now it's making me think of, of an America song. What's it called? Muskrat, Muskrat Love. That's it. That's what that's made me think of. Um, there you go. So, I am... Let's clear this list. It's just, I just want my achievements on here, please. Select my next conquest. What do I get to choose from? Oh, okay, oh, okay. Ordos took the best land. Yeah, we did. Harkonnen are a threat. Well, <laughs> you're not wrong. Is there going to be like a, a house of trade that nearby? Interesting. And there's going to be like a border of neutral. Ah, okay, I like it. So, I mean, I think if you pick the one between Atreides and Harkonnen, you're you're going to ask for a little bit of of trouble there. So you want to be just between uh, one and one, don't you? Maybe this one. That seems like a good enough one, doesn't it? So we'll we'll give this next stage a go. See how we get on. I think it's loading up right now. Um, I have a look at my notes and see if there's anything else I want to um, throw out about June 2. No, I don't. I don't think so at the moment. It it looks like a really solid game. I was I was interested to um, to give it a whirl and see what happened. Um, ah, here we go. Your quota is now 2,700 credits. 
and this spice accumulation is your primary objective. Okay. We do not expect you to destroy the Harkonnen forces in the area, however you should consider the time that can could be saved by appropriating their silos. Well, I hope you give me an appropriate function. I will use it appropriately. Come on, come on. Next sentence. Proceed. I'd like to proceed. Thank you. Okay. If I circle back to my um, my original introduction to this video, I and the fact that I was thinking more about Dune, and it is, um, as you may have guessed, because at the time of streaming, a um, yes, sir. A new film adaptation is about to be released. Um, it has been released in some places, I believe, um, mainly continental Europe and I think the Middle East, um, but uh, not yet in the UK where I am or um, in the USA, as far as I can tell. Um, that won't be until ooh, about this time next month, October. Um, but it got me thinking about the. Um, the books again, the previous film adaptation, and um, I'm kind of wondering what these these games would be like. And you know what? So far, I find this um, relaxing and, yes, and playable. Uh, I do remember, um, in terms of real-time strategy games, I did go through um, a big phase uh, of um, being pretty obsessed with Stronghold. I, rem I seem to remember. Um, I think I've played played every level of that game. Um, I don't know. I think there's something mechanically that appeal really appeals to me about real-time strategy. Um, although it's not always the most um, narratively focused of games, and that tends to be the kind of thing I seek out. Um, hence why I've played quite a lot of um, uh, role-playing games and adventure games on stream and on video. So, I mean, there's looking like a good place for a uh, refinery, right? Construction complete. Thanks. Um, how many squares do you think I've got? Oh, I can't put anything there. Oh, have they got to be on adjacent, like adjacent squares? Why can't I put anything there? Because there's nothing adjacent to it. I think that's why. Um, so I think I could do like a, let's try this, it may not work, but we'll, we'll try it. So, yes, sir. guard, yes, sir. I think their default action is to, um, to guard, which is nice. Yes, sir. Let's get some of these, um, forces a bit further out guarding. Acknowledge. Yeah, yeah, I think yes, they guard sir. anyway, don't yes, they? Sir. Okay, back to the concrete. Yeah, I do seem to remember being really into really into Stronghold for a while. Um, Construction complete. There we go. So now I can get the. So I presume as the game goes on. Wow. Apologies if you had the uh, the party bus rocking by outside. Uh, it's pretty loud. Um, oh, I lost my train of thought completely there. Wind trap supplies power to the base. Yes, sir. Um, move. Acknowledge. Hmm. Yeah, I wish there was a more intuitive way to move, but that's that's fine actually. It's um, it's all good. I probably don't want to expand too far just yet, do I? Let's do a bit more building. Uh, more, I want, well, oh, is there, what's this? A radar outpost, ooh, nice, and that takes four. What does it do? You know what? I can ask my Mentat, can't I? Um, we'll get some concrete going, but it's a good time to do 
um, have a look at these buttons, which we didn't do in the, the tutorial. Oh, I've got placed by concrete booth. Oh, no, no, we, we are going there. Okay, it just took a moment. So the Mintac can brief us, uh, advice and orders, information on the houses, information on the structures, which um, I would like. A war, a war, a war? Um, spice silos, refinery, outpost. Outpost, is that the radar thing that we were looking at? Yeah, the radar capabilities of the outpost are vital to your operations. Okay, power needs the, oh, I've got to look at power needs as well. Okay, that's interesting. I wonder if I can get that information on any other screen. Um, this ref... Hang on. The... Power... Wind trap, that's where we get our power from. What's its power output? Power output 100. Okay. And the power usage of a refinery is... 30. Okay, so we can have like, perhaps like three structures per power. Um... A barracks? Oh, haven't got any of that yet. Okay, let's get out of here. Ah, oh, thank you, PC Gambler. Um, I, yeah, you're right, it's not looking good, is it? It's looking pretty ropey. Um, I'm gonna say thank you. Um, yeah, I wonder what's going on there. Let me see if I can uh, do anything about that, and I'll be I'll be right back with you. Let's uh, pause the game. That would be a great start. So hopefully you will be able to see the game again. And let yeah, if you wouldn't mind, let me know how it's um, how it's looking for you. Um, I'd very much appreciate it. And we can try try and play a little bit more of this first main scenario. I uh, might take the opportunity to save the game. Actually, that seems like a a good call. Slot. Um, I guess. Call. So I guess it's the second mission, isn't it? Let's call it second mission. Good saving. It's that it's that point where you don't you're not quite sure whether it's saving or not. Oh, now the stream's going bananas. It's going from zero kilobytes per second to far too many kilobytes per second. That's not what I asked for. Just have a little peek at the the stream info. I, uh, yeah, there might be a bust for tonight, which is a, a real shame. Um, I'll just try a little bit more, a little bit more tuning, um, and I'll keep an eye out for the stream quality and let me know how it is for you as well. Um, I've got some concrete to place, so I'm darn well gonna place it. Come on. Construction complete. I wonder if um, at some point you get to unlock instant concrete. That would be exciting, wouldn't it? Construction complete. I mean, it's pretty. It's pretty quick as it is. Complete. Okay, let's build. What was I thinking of? The refinery. That's what I was thinking of. So far, not too many Harkonnens, which is nice. I guess this yes, soldier can move over here, right? Acknowledge. Construction complete. And guard. Acknowledge. Um, so I've got... Oh, hang on. Have I got this to place here? There we go. Refinery converts spice into credits. It's pure money, baby.
Okay, lovely. Um, more concrete, you say? More concrete. Um, yeah, you can, oh, hello, more options. What's this one? Spice storage silo. That seems like it's going to be very useful. Okay, so I will do that next, maybe? But not just yet. Let's uh, put some concrete down first. Oh, hello. Um, yeah, I think we're going to go concrete. Construction complete. And pop it. Construction complete. Just here, I think. I mean, I've been so I've been complete. thinking I have to put the concrete on the rock because that makes most sense to me logically. But I don't know if that's true. I don't know if you can just sort of pop it anywhere in the in the sand. Even I wouldn't recommend it. Don't build on sand. That's my that's my sage advice to everybody. Um, let's build a silo. Construction complete. Okay, spice silo. The spice silo is used to store refined spice. That is, uh, yes, that is what I would have expected, to be honest. Yeah, looks like there's some good, good veins of spice around here. Enemy unit approaching. Oh, from where? Where I can hear, I can hear fire. Where, where is the enemy? Oh, you're down there, Halster. Oh my goodness. Oh no, Harvester! No! No, please! No! Move! Oh dear. We've aggravated the Harkonnens, everybody. Yes, sir. Okay, I think they're happy as long as we're out of their territory? No, not quite. If I get this one out of here as well. Is that soldier got a bazooka? I think they might have a bazooka. Come on, two on one. Two armoured vehicles against one one person on. Oi, where's the hill going? Probably kept a closer eye on my house today. That was one tough soldier. Ah, they're gonna keep coming. I. Uh... All right, I think those those guys can probably hand it, handle it um, themselves. Uh, you, Harvester, you come over here. Alright, I am I'm conscious that the stream quality is probably very low, so you're not likely to be having a very good good time if you're watching. Which is a shame. Um the, uh, yeah. It's not it's not great, is it? I'm really sorry about that. Hang on, what's all this gunfire? I'm just gonna check out this gunfire and then we'll we'll try and wrap things up. Enemy unit destroyed. I think base is under attack! What? Free space, my base. Not my base. My base is all right. Isn't it? Am I taking their base? Oh dear. This, this isn't going great, is it? It was all going so well. Harvester, how are you doing? Harvest? Harvest, please. Now. 
So you got that. Oh, that's it's under attack that way. Crikey! It's not stop. Once the enemy starts laying into you, you're in real trouble. Don't attack my base. No repairing. It's repairing. All good. Is this that was repairing? Repair Unit destroyed. This is good. That's good. Okay. All right. Let's get a few more credits and a bit more uh, spice in. I think we're. I think they're just going to keep coming, aren't they? Unless I, I take their base out, which I, I don't really want to do. Because I have to concentrate on warfare and not. Um, I guess I could. I could spend a bit of time to take the battle to them, couldn't I? Unit destroyed. Hmm. Acknowledge. I, I'm a bit worried about where my harvester yes, chooses sir. to go. It just seems to wander off on its own to, to any old place. So I'm, the the um, <laughs> yes, sir. the uh, the vehicle yes, sir. units are actually still kind of usable while they're on fire, which is interesting. Oh dear. Unit destroyed. Okay, this is going this is going terribly well, folks. This is kind of like this is mirroring the stream. It's <laughs> it's going yes, from bad to worse. Harvester, what are you doing over there? Get away from no. the Harkonnens! Harvest where it's safe, for goodness sake. Can't, can't I rely on you to do anything? Acknowledge. Yes, sir. So these, these individual soldiers are actually doing a lot of damage. So, I mean, I don't know how I'm gonna do anything here. So you yes, soldier, sir. come over here and attack this base, will you? Oh dear. Oh no, you're gone. Okay, you can't attack anything. Harvester, what are you doing down here? This is absurd. I told you to get up on, get up here. Have I got any, how many units? Oh, I should have built, built a barracks. Advice, advice to my past self is just build a barracks. I don't know if I have access to barracks yet, but I, I would build a barracks if I could. Oh dear. What's, where's that harvester? What's it doing? Harvest. Soldier? Move. Down here. Please. Oh dear. I don't like the scream when they, when they perish. That's not nice. Um. Hang on, this is still viable, isn't it? Why isn't that one? Well, this one's still viable. Yes, sir. This one just taking for a minute to get down. Yes, sir. Right, this is a, a self-destruct mission. Attack. Whoever this is, please. And then yes, you. Sir. Uh, whatever this is as well, please. Can we do that? Let's do that. And then, what, what are you, what are you two up to? Can you attack these, please? We don't seem to have as good weapons as the Arkans, which is uh, may just be, may just be me, but uh, that seems to be true. What's happening down here? Uh, yeah, they're, they're, they're destroyed. Uh, 
Oh, that's, that's fine. So, what are you yes, doing, sir. Harvester? Harvesting? You are harvesting. Okay. Well, you keep harvesting then. Yes, we'll just try and uh, fend off. Uh, hi, Mez, uh, Mez is Dani. Apologies if I haven't said that right correctly. Yeah, it's it's a really good game, isn't it? I'm uh, I'm enjoying my time with it. Uh, apologies for the fluctuating stream quality. It's probably not coming through very well. It's um, uh, it's I'm not I'm not doing very well. I think I need more practice. Um, did you play um play it back in the early '90s when it first came out? I think I think this this round is a, is a bust, isn't it? How did it? Yeah, the, I think the stream is lagging, unfortunately. Um, Enemy unit approaching. Yeah, so it's I'm, I'm, I think I'm going to have to abandon the stream, unfortunately, um, because I'd love to stay in chat, actually. Um, but I'll I'll try and stream June June two again. Um, same time next week, probably. Uh, ah, it's all, it's all, uh, it's all going very wrong here. I, I, <laughs> I, I like how wrong it's going in the game. It's definitely mirroring my real life situation. Oh wow! Oh, I think let's let's just watch uh, the destruction happen. This is going to be pretty impressive. Let me line that up for you. Can I try and repair these things? I guess I can try and repair these things. I uh, don't think I can build anything useful, right? You could you could stream from an Android phone. I don't know how how um, easy it would be. I'm I'm trying to do it from a desktop computer at the moment. But I think my internet connection is is uh, so poor that it's it's just can't handle. Ah, uh, okay. I see what you mean. Yeah, I think theoretically it's possible, um, but I don't have experience myself, I'm afraid. Well, these, these guys are taking a long time to destroy my resources. Uh... Oh cool, thank you for mentioning it. Yeah, I'll have a look. Um, and Brad, thank you very much for popping by. I, I must apologise again that the the quality of the uh, the stream has been so poor. Um, I'm gonna have to have to try and work out what to do about that. So, are uh, uh, um, strategy games your kind of your kind of thing? Would you say it's not? Isn't they're not the kind of game that I've played um, loads of actually? But I do quite like them. Um, what can I do? Can I build anything useful to? I can't salvage this, can I? How could I possibly salvage this? Let's you know, if in doubt, build concrete. Oh, oh you can have okay. That's a hold. Ok, 
Okay, nice to see you, Mr. Stein. Uh, thank you for popping by. Oh dear. Oh dear, it's all, it's all, all gone terribly. I can't destruct anything. Hang on, where did these soldiers come from? Do they get chucked out of a building when uh, things go wrong? This is a non-finisher, isn't it? Let's say. Um, you can pick another house mid-game. That's interesting. You know what? Let's let's just uh, let's go all in for house orders, orders. Uh, insufficient power. Can we? You know what? Let's. Let's destroy our um, our spice secrets to protect them from House Harkin. Can we do that? Can we attack our own? They can attack our own structures. Let's do that. Okay, our secrets must die with us. Harvest. Harvest, dang you. Harvest over there. gonna watch the destruction from here folks. Uh, hang on there's still, still soldiers around. Excuse me. I don't want to be over there. Soldiers. What are you doing? You're just standing around. You're not you're not guarding much, are you? Quickly destroy us spy secrets. Quick. Before the Harkonnens get here. Destroy our concrete secrets! No concrete must be left standing. Oh, we failed our mission, folks. So I think, yep, yeah, I failed my mission in June too. And I also kind of failed to provide a, a stable stream, for which I am very sorry. But um, I'm kind of hope to bring. Oh, let's see what happens when you. Oh, this looks a bit bloody. Apparently, I was mistaken about your potential. Oh, I didn't know we were going to get. Oh, it will. It will cost us a great deal to retake this region. It was. We hadn't taken it anyway. We were advancing, weren't we? Only complete success with your next assignment could possibly resurrect your career. Oh, you can keep going. Ah, nice. I like it. Thanks, everyone. Proceed. <laughs> I think we're going to leave. Yeah, we'll leave the game here and the stream here. Um, thanks, everybody, for watching along. And um, really nice to to get some chat going. That was lovely. Um, kind of makes all all the difference, really. Um, so I very much appreciate that. Thank you. Thanks for everybody's Eddie's everybody's input. Um, it's been a really lovely stream. I will, yeah, come back again. Uh, I think probably uh, this time next week. We'll try June two again, and I'll see if there's any any differences I can make in the meantime to. Um, to have a more successful stream because that would be lovely and to chat to you all again um, in the ah uh, okay so that we can't try that region again um, in the meantime uh, we're gonna leave it there thanks very much um, feel free to follow uh, this channel if you you'd like to know when the next um, streams coming up and um, yeah I'm also on YouTube so you could have a look 
uh, from my profile here or uh, search for Cat Sequentures on YouTube uh, to see other stuff that I've played. It's mostly been adventure and role playing games, um, but who knows, there might be more strategy in the future, who can say. Um, so until uh, next time I see you, take care everyone, goodbye.